What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's your big home in the building, the Fresh King, aka Angel Rest of Fire, and welcome to another episode of the I Met My Future Rap Show, aka What's Up, What's Up, What's Up, What's Poppin'. Um, thank you so much for for clicking this episode. It's episode, but we're gonna be talking about some some things, and um, I will be um share with you guys um, you know, different topics and what. You know what I mean? Cause I know you guys wanna, I, I, I wanna hear more about me, and um, that's the direction I wanted to go with you guys. Wanna be able to share, um, like where I've been going, what I've been going through, my story. Cause I know you guys. The purpose of this show is to educate, elevate, educate, elevate, and entertain you guys, and give you guys quality content that is related to what my story and where I've been through, and uh, and. This this show is gonna um, allow you to see different sides to me. You guys are gonna see different sides to me, both physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and sexually. Cause I want you guys to know the different parts of me and where I have I've come from and where I've been to. Because and, and I'm gonna tell you this, guys, um, that I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful right now for for being able to um to to do what i do because me i just to me to, to be honest with you this show um and i'm gonna be honest with you um i don't even if i don't make money or not still that's me i just do it because for the heart because i don't do things just for money you know what i mean if money comes it comes if it don't come yeah you know i mean me i because that's my mentality right now because it's still my birthday month and i tell myself this that i what i do i just do things because i'm because i'm who i am because who god created me to be that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do things so I can um, help myself because, to be honest with you, I have to think about what I want to do with my life because, especially for my birthday month, um, I'm um, so this, uh, I want you guys to know, like, the struggles that I've been, been through and things that happen in my life and what what it takes to become who I am today. And um and I'm gonna tell you this. I want you guys to hear this from me because I know that this show is all about honesty. This this show was created was inspired by God Himself. This show was inspired by God, and it is show. This show is is inspired by my grandmother and my futures, and, and my future wife who I met. And um I because um. I want you guys that this show is not just any ordinary show. This show is me being real, being raw, telling you what I've learned um, throughout the years of my life. And I want you guys to to know um, the different things that I go through each and every day. And it's not easy. It's not easy. Me putting out videos. Me, I, me, I like to be able to be authentic because I'm authentic. If um, for people who know me, uh, because me, what I do, I have a small circle. I don't, because me, I'm not that, because to be honest with you, I'm, I got trust issues. Yes, I know. I know you, yes, I got trust issues. I don't trust people that easily. That includes my own family members. Yes, guys, I'm not easy to trust. <laughs> I'm not an easy person to trust. It's not easy because, um... I don't take that lightly because, so, and I'm going to tell you this, the reason why I don't trust easily because pe pe some people have their own agenda, you know what I mean, people have their own agenda, they might, they might backstab you, betray you, all that kind of stuff, you tell them something, they go yap their mouth to God knows who, so me, I... I have to say myself, that's why um, it's not easy for me, me, uh, it's not easy because I um it's not easy for me to because I have trust issues and it's not easy for me to trust people like that because I don't know what their intentions are and I have to be I, I, because I'm I'm guarding my heart and God is protecting me as well God has guarded mine too because God knows I got trust issues but I I'm I'm because what I do I will go by what 
if God tell me that I should trust that person, I will trust that person. If God don't tell me to trust that person, I'm not going to trust that person. That's me. That's who I am. That's how who God who God wants me. That's how how God created me for. for me. On top of it, because God is a God, He knows me more than I even know myself. And how I know these things because God revealed to me who I am, because God revealed to me my mission, my vision, my dreams, my goals, and all that kind of stuff. And me being able to do what I do, because to be honest with you, if you, if if you put the Creator first, if you put the Creator first, everything should be second. No, but nothing else should be first. N Guys, I hate to tell you this, family should not be first. God should be first because God is the one that created you. God is the one that created you for a reason. Because technically, your parents did not create you first. God did. God actually created you. God, know, God is the one that knows your story. God knows your past, present, and your future. Because that's, God is our as our parent because guess what god is actually the parent because we are god's children we are god's children god god is actually the parent because he he created us because on the sixth day on the sixth day god created humans the more human uh, human on the sixth day god created humans and uh, we have to be grateful to god that God is the one that makes sure our life is sustainable our life is you know and um and on top of it, God knows that there's people out there trying to hurt our dreams, like kick us down. But God said, you know what? No, 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 no. God said, I'm here. I'm gonna make sure I will do what I will make sure I take care of you. I'll take care of you. I'll I'll be with you through thick and thin. I will make sure your life is sustainable. I will make sure you. I will make sure things go better for you that's who god is god, let me tell you something you you i mean god is protecting if you're chosen by god if you're chosen by god is protecting you because god will make god will make sure give karma to people because nobody cannot mess with you because if they mess with you god is going to mess with them um truck uh, like twice times even quadruple time because remember what goes around comes back around because I'm gonna tell you this. I was watching a, I was watching a show. I was not even a show. I was watch. I think I was watching a movie. Yeah, I was watching a Chris. It was yeah. It was a Christmas movie. I was watching a Christmas movie, right? And I was watching a Christmas movie. And um, let me see who was in it. Loretta Devine was in there. Um, uh, what's her name? Oh Lord. There's another. Um, Loretta Devine was in there and. This um, Flex Washington, I mean Flex Alexander was in. I'm gonna Flex Washington. I mean Flex Alexander was in there. Uh, I forgot. To be honest with you, I forgot the name of the movie. But it was a great movie. I was watching it on YouTube. I think it was yesterday. It was yesterday the day before. I think it was yesterday or so. But make a long story short. Um, and when I was watching the movie, there was this guy, um, he played the role of Loretta Devine's brother, and then, um, he, um, uh, um, Loretta Devine, who, um, he, she, um, she, she asked the guy and where he's going, but he didn't say anything, he just said, yeah, he was, you know, he do his own thing. So what he did, he went and then he was at the store. And you guys probably know what I'm talking about, which which movie I, I'm talking about. But sorry for the people, sorry for spoiling it. But if you ever watched it, oh, sorry. But I just want to, yeah. But but when um I um at the store, he was he was um having on. He was like about. I thought he was gonna buy something in the store. He was standing up. Like he was about to go in the store, but when I look, I see he put he, he put on he put on he put, he 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 take out a gun, he t he took out a gun because I didn't because we asked I didn't even know what was going on and then I uh, saw that and he took out his gun because remember you everything has consequences everything has everything is karma once you do something it's gonna come back around and that's what happened in this movie this guy um robbed the place he um 
he hold up the store, the convenience uh, the, at the store, and, and tell the guy to put the money in, in the bag. He was robbing him at gunpoint. And to make a long story short, um, he was telling him to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And, and, and the guy said, okay, okay. And then I, 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 I put it in the money in. And then, make, and then I was, he started, he started, you know, holding the gun and, and, and sort of coming out. Then he started running. And then he don't even know what was going to happen next. Because remember, what goes around, what comes back around. So he robbed the place, so karma comes back to him. And then the, the, the guy from, from the store got his gun. And then while the guy was running, um, the guy ended up shooting him. You see that? Guys, that's why I said you don't. God has a way of doing that. You cannot mess you cannot do that. Everything has consequences. If you rob a convenience store or whatever it is, karma is going to come back at you. That person is going to run you down. The person might run you down. You wouldn't even know if the person is behind you. And that's the thing. You got to think what becomes next. You got to think what becomes. And that's the point. And the thing I'm trying to point out is that you got to be careful. You got to be careful. You gotta be careful how you um how you treat people. You gotta be careful. I mean, you gotta be careful because um you don't know what might happen. Everything has consequences. Everything has consequences. And you gotta be careful. No joke. This is this is not because I'm telling you, when you when you talk bad about somebody, some something is gonna happen because you don't know what's gonna happen next. God already knows what's gonna happen next. Because if you mess with God's chosen ones, of course God is going to do something about it. Cause those, that's God's, let me tell you something. God's chosen ones, God's chosen ones are his messengers, are his leaders. Those are God's leaders. Chosen ones means messengers, and messengers means leader. Leader means chosen, and chosen means messenger. So if you mess with God's leaders, God's leaders, of course, God is going to um, um, put something back at you. God is going to make sure your life go down the drain. So come on now. God, I'm not saying that God is um, doing, because you cannot mess with somebody's life and then you turn around and, no, it doesn't work like that. You got to treat people in utmost respect. That's why they said respect goes a long way. You cannot treat people high, because I'm going to tell you this. Um... If, all right, let me tell you this, all right? So you go to the doctor, right? You go to the doctor. If 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 a doctor warns you and say, um, and you got injured, right? Because I did got, in, to be honest with you, I did got in, injured in my knee. So I got injured in my knee because um, my, okay, I'll, I'll, let me explain to you. My left, my left knee I don't know if I, I think I probably said this in this ep, in the episode season two or one. If I did not say it, I'm probably gonna say it. I probably said it, but I'm gonna re refresh y'all memory. So um, remember, I, I think yeah, they told y'all. Remember, um, I think it was season two or one where I said that um, that my mom had had this guy um, living in the house, and to make a long story short, but now when I came from Duncan, it was night. You know, I mean, because I like to, you know. Because I can't, um, I, I have to like live, you know, do what I got to do. So make a long story short, remember I told you what happened when the, when the guy was living there and he was in the bathroom and, 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 and then I didn't even know water was on the daggone flow. I went, I went in, I, I was about to go, I, 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 because I was about to, you know, I went in and I said, okay, I was about to go to the bathroom. I was like, wait, no, wait. Um, went in, long story short, woke up at five in the morning walk i didn't even know what was on the floor and i ended up falling and it messed up my knee yes guys i it my knee got messed up meaning yeah and on top of it you know the hip part of your body your hip part close to your private area yes that it messed up when i fell i fell to the point where um where my hip um, like it, it messed up my hip because when I went to physical therapy, when I went to physical therapy, right? And I didn't know that was going on when I was in the physical therapy. And then there come a point 
um, the guy said that my hip is weak. So, yeah, my hip is weak. So, I, I've been trying to, I've been doing physical therapy because it's good to do physical therapy. But if, so, um, if your doctor told you to stay, because even if you got to make sure you got to listen to what your doctor says. If your doctor tell you you got to stay away, you, you cannot be moving your foot that much. Because to be honest with you, um, I got an MRI on my knee. And I, I, I don't want to have surgery on my on my foot. And to be honest with you, right now, um, my knee hurt me so bad because I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you how it is. According to, because I did an MRI and according to the doctor, the doctor said that my knee and this hurt me right now as we speak. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you, my kneecap. You know the, you know the kneecap that uh, that that goes like this. Yeah. The kneecap is like the socket. The socket goes like this. So imagine this is a knee, right? The socket it came out of socket. So see that? Yeah, it's not. <laughs> when it comes to the knee, that's a big deal. You know what I mean? That it will it will mess you up bad. It because you, you don't wanna you don't wanna um, mess it up or anything. Cause me my knee has been hurting me, but by the grace of God, I am. Um, it, by the grace of God, everything um, I'm making sure um, scratch it and not not too not too hard. I take time to scratch it because when I, to be honest with you, when I walk, I don't feel it. But when, but the thing is, when I walk, I still feel it though. But it does hurt like hell. It does hurt like hell because it does hurt because the reason why it hurt because it's the knee. His the knee, and and then the socket, and then uh, and then being hit, and where my part, where my knee is, where the private area is, not where, the, not exactly where the private area is, but where your where your knee, where your where your you know where your private area is in the front, and then your knee, your knee is right here. So it 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 kind of messed with my um. So it's like my hip is weak, and I'm trying to get it stronger. So I, that's why I have to keep make sure I don't I don't um overdo it and overdo it and and I've been to be honest with you, I, I've been like overdoing it and it's not okay to overdo things. So if if your body is telling you to stop, you gotta listen to your body, y'all. Huh? If your body tells you, I'm telling you, your body can communicate with you. Your body will communicate with you. God will communicate with you. If God said, um, stop, you got to stop. Stop going. Don't go any further. Don't. If God, if God's showing you that you need to stop, stop. You got to stop. Don't listen to what anybody else says. Because remember, God has the final say. God has a final say. God is like a, is like a doctor. He's a doctor. God is your doctor. Like God is our doctor. God is actually a doctor. So all these doctors who are licensed to do, they are t giving you the right information. So if your doctor tell you do not, don't move your leg too too much. You got to listen to them because the doctors are like they're telling you the right thing. You know what I mean? And you got to be careful because it, and that's the thing if your doctor and if your body tell you the same thing too, your body will communicate with you and tell you that you need to calm down. You need, you need to not move anymore because I'm telling you, because I'm telling you guys right now, my leg, my left leg is, um, my left leg is hurting. And to be honest with you, I'm looking at my leg right now. I'm looking at my leg and to be honest with you my left leg is is bigger than the right leg yeah to be honest with you because i got hurt in the left knee so to be and i'm gonna tell you this guys um i have um i've got hurt on this knee before <laughs> i know i got because there was an incident some years ago i got hurt on the same same leg same same left leg I got hurt my left leg has been getting hurt the most <laughs> to be honest with you it has been getting yeah it has been getting hurt the most because I got I got I remember I got injured I got 
Oh Lord, I can't. I, guys, I even lost count how how many times I, um my left foot got hurt. I I lost count. I lost count. To be honest with you, it it was a lot of times. And then me and when the knee, when uh, the, my same leg went, in, but this time is a knee. Oh, so I can't do too much. I can't even. Cause to be honest with you, I gotta. I got to listen to what my body is saying. If my body is saying not to go that much, even if even if I'm going in the car or wherever, it's still, guys, you got to think about yourself. If your body is communicating with you, you got to listen to it. You cannot not listen to it because you cannot not listen to it because that's God telling you you need to listen. Because if you don't listen, you're going to end up, your foot going to be amputated. You're going to be having the surgery or your your foot might be amputated. I don't want my foot to be amputated. Um, to be you know what I mean? I don't want my foot because I want my leg. I'm blessed with the leg, and I got to take care of it. Guys, you got to take care of your body. Take a, take care of your well-being. Take care of it. Don't listen to what anybody else say. They could tell you what they want to tell you. If God tell you that you need to put, God is guiding you for a reason. If God, if God said don't push it, don't push it. If God say, you know what I mean, God knows what he's talking about. Because guess what? God knows what you, what's going to happen next. God knows what's going to happen along the lines. God knows what's going to happen in, in the future. So you got to make sure you take care of your body, take care of your Take care of your well-being because when you take care of your well-being, it helps. That's why me, I am grateful to God that I, because me, I have to, I have to do what God tell me. I can because by right, God is the one that create. God is the one that created me. Yes, He knows you. He knows you more than He knows your parents. I mean, let me say that not that way. God knows you more than your parents, your earthly parents. God is God that created you, and God created your earthly parents. God is the one that actually, so God created your parents so you could come out in the world. So, yeah, so your parents did not actually create you first. God did. God created you first. He's a first. He knows your He knows your story more than anybody else. So no one can tell you about your story. Only you can. Only you can. You're the only one that can tell your story. You you are the only God is the only one that knows you more than you know yourself. So nobody can talk up nobody can um talk for you. Nobody cannot say nothing for you because they don't know you like God do. They don't know you like God. Because God knows what exactly what goes on in your life. God knows it. So me if God tell me to stay put, I'm staying put. If there's a reason, there is a reason. Because I'm telling you, God knows you. You got to listen to what the Creator said. If the Creator said stay put, yes, to be honest with you, it's still my birthday month. It's still my birthday month. It's still. But today is what, the 24th? Yeah, it's still my birthday month. So God, if God is putting you in the state of of um of relaxation, he do, he's doing it for a reason. He wants you to be still. The Bible said, "Be still and know that I'm God." If God is telling you to be still, enjoy, enjoy it. Yes, if. That's what God is telling you. If God tells you to be still, there's a reason why God telling you to be still. Make use of it. Make use of it. Do something. Read a book. Write it. Write in your journal. Do whatever. If if you have a laptop, go whatever. Go on the internet. Do whatever. You know what I mean? God God wants you to make use of yourself. God wants you to enjoy yourself. God 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 did not create you just to for, for you to just you know. God is not just creating you just for the sake of creating you. He created you so you can enjoy it while it lasts. Yes, especially when when we age, we only be 20s one day in our lifetime. And I think I've said this in one of this ep- in one of the, in one of the episodes. You only get one. You only get one life. You only you. You only get one time to be in a teenager, one time to be in your twenties, one time to be um, in your thirties, one time. 
there's no second time. You know, we ages go up, not down. Ages go up. So we gotta use it. We gotta we gotta be wise. We gotta we gotta listen to what the creator says. Cause if the creator the creator wants you to live a happy life, God wants you to go go to him, trust in God. God is gonna take you to places where you've never been before. That's why me, I gotta take take into consideration that I have to do what makes me happy. Because God wants you to think about yourself. Nothing, and I'm gonna tell you this. I don't know why, and I've been getting this all the not all the time, but it's only from my family members. Everybody else doesn't. They always say, "Oh, you're selfish." My mom tell me the same thing. Oh, you're selfish. Oh, you're selfish. Everybody, my dad or whoever said I'm selfish. I'm not. God did not credit me selfish. No. Being selfish, nothing is wrong with being selfish, but God, God did not make me selfish. Self, selfish is a great thing. Selfish is a part of self-care, meaning you are taking care of yourself. You're taking care of your well-being. So nothing is wrong with being, being, um, being, you know, yeah. Nothing is wrong with being that. <sighs> nothing is wrong with being selfish. But it's not like you're like not refusing to give somebody food. That's a whole different. Because let me tell you what the meaning of selfish. Selfish and self care are somewhat the same. Somewhat the same. There's a difference between selfish and self care. But both selfish and self care go hand in hand. But being selfish, there's two meanings to being the word selfish. Self, the first meaning what selfish mean. Selfish means that when you you not sh um, sharing, you know, you're not sharing anything with that person. But there's a reason. But selfish means a different thing. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna look up the meaning so I could give you the meaning of what the different self selfish and self care, so you guys can know the different the, the the difference because um it it goes hand in hand. It does go hand in hand. So I just want to let you guys know that it does go hand in hand. So give me a minute while I pull this up real quick. Let me go under. One minute. So I, so I would make sure you guys know the difference. Because people, cause to be honest with you, people keep saying the same thing. Like, my my, uh, my mom keeps saying, oh, I'm selfish. So I'm going to give you the meaning of let me go to selfish first and tell you what that means the meaning okay okay there are a meaning selfish means of a person action or movie lacking consideration for other people concern chiefly with one's own personal profit or pleasure I'm gonna repeat that again. Uh, selfish. It's like of a person, action or a motive. That's what it means. Lacking consideration for other people. I I don't like consideration for other people. Me, I love people regardless of who I am. So that's why God and I mean, God know that I'm. I don't lack consideration for other people. I I care about people. I care for people. Anybody young and old, whoever you are, I will not leave anybody out. That's me, because I'm not that person. See, concern chiefly with one's own personal profit or pleasure. So if you put it in a sentence, you will say, like, I joined them for selfish reasons. Yeah. So, now I just gave you the meaning of that. And there's, there's about two meanings to it, though. I'm going to give it, I just gave it the meaning already. Same thing. I mean, like, full meaning is concern excessively or exclusive with oneself, seeking or concentrating on one's own advantage and pleasure or being or well-being without regard for others. The second meaning, it says, arising from concern with one's own welfare or advantage in disregard of others, a selfish act. Now, I'm going to tell you, what does self care mean? Self care means taking care of yourself, but I'm, but I'm gonna make sure. Um, I already know what that means, but I'm gonna. Hold on one 
one second. So care. Okay. So self care. Self care is the practice of taking action to preserve or improve one's own health. Mean taking care of yourself. Meaning, and the practice of taking an active role in protecting one's own well-being and happiness, in particularly during periods of stress. Self-care is very important. Self-care is so. Self-care is also part of being selfish because being selfish doesn't mean like you're you're neglecting somebody. You know, self-care self-care is a part of of self-care. It depends on how you use how the way you use it. So it's very easy. You know what I mean? Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a, an an example. Like self-care involves like making healthy lifestyle choices. Being physically active and eating healthy, you could uh, I mean like avoiding unhealthy lifestyle habits, avoiding smoking and excessive al alcohol consumption, making responsible use of prescription and non-prescription medicines. But this is like what what self care is and what the examples what involves. So self care, nothing is wrong with being um doing is selfish. Selfish is a part of self care. It's how is how you put it in a sentence. It's how you put it. Being selfish means you're taking care of yourself. But being selfish the other um the other meaning to selfish is um you you lack consideration of other person. That's what it means. So yeah. Now the I'm going to give you some ways to show you self care so you can apply this. So how you, I'm going to so the the ways to um I'm going to give you tips to help you get started with self care. So I, I already know what self care deals with, but I'm going to give you um so you guys can know take and apply this and put it to, you know. So the first thing is you got to get regular exercise. This is always number one. Uh, me to be honest with you, I love exercise. I love fitness. I love fitness right now. I love because I always make sure to exercise. Yeah, before I, my foot got um, got injured, before my foot got injured, I've been um, making sure to work out and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, but I still do, but I can't do much with my leg to be honest with you, because I because I got injured because of what happened. As I told you before, yeah. So I. I do try to exercise it, but not too, not too much. I can't do it too fast because it will, yeah. yeah. So I, don't, I try not to have surgery. The next, the next one is to eat healthy. Regular means and stay hydrated. Um, eat, like the eating is eating healthy at regular is very important. It is very important, and especially in the human race. Um, the human race we have to eat is a part of our lifestyle. It's a part of, it's it's a part of the lifestyle. It's it's a part of, it's all it's actually a part of, um, what the human that's what the human race stands for. You need food and water. Those are the most important things on this earth. Without food and water, you're dead. So that's why we have to keep hydrated. So because like for now, I'm no, I'm thirsty right now. I'm about to drink some water in a minute. Because guys, your body will tell you when you need water. Your body will, because your body is communicating with you. If your body tells you that it's hungry, it's hungry. If your body tells you that uh, that you're, if your body tells you that, um, your body can tell you when. The, your body can tell you when you need water and when you need to eat. Yeah. Our bodies are designed that way. It can tell you when, because once once your mouth is dry, your body's telling you, yeah, more water. I need some water. Yes. When you, yeah, when your mouth is dry, it's telling, your body's saying you need, you need that. The third thing is make sleep a priority. Guys, sleep is very important. And I'm gonna tell you this: sleep is very important because you need you need at least uh, I know it's eight hours of sleep. You need at least eight hours of sleep. You need at least some people have seven or six hours. Even if you have five or six hours, and then you go back to sleep. So some people like you know it depends on it depends on how 
what you're doing because if you say you know what okay i'm doing this so i'm gonna go to sleep for because you know it depends on what you're doing sometimes because make sure you have time to sleep put sleep in a part of your your routine because sleep is very important because if you don't get enough sleep you won't function the next morning that's why you have to make sure you sleep even if even if if it's like five or six hours at least you wake up and then you and you go make breakfast or whatever. If you if you're not going out that day, right? You're not going out that day, and you just you just get up and you know you can go back to sleep and get some more hours of sleep. You know what I mean? Yeah. But remember, so sleep is very important. So always remember, make sure to find time, even if it's five hours, six hours, and then you go back. You, it depends on what if you're if you are not busy that day you go go sleep if you're off that's different too you used to go sleep yes yeah next one is you got to try a relaxing activity like meditation try relax it, it you could do relaxing can do in many ways you could put on your music and relax or meditate and just you could there's a lot of relaxing activities where you could do so that's very important just relax your body relax your mind don't let no negative come in between you just focus on what you need to focus on and allow the holy spirit to or allow god and if you because how, how you how you hear god clearly is if you're relaxed nobody's in the room you can hear you, you could just hear god if you hear quietness that is like um you're you're like hearing from God. That's all you hear from God is you, you just quiet the noise, let people go wherever, whatever, and you just stay in the sense of relaxing. Because when you relax and when you don't say anything, you're gonna hear the you're gonna hear God speak to you. Yeah. Next one is you gotta set goals and priorities. Always set goals and priorities. Whatever your goal is, you gotta write it down. That's why you always gotta get a nice handy dandy book or, or you put in your phone, you just put in your phone and then what you put in your phone. You just like, you know, write down your your goals and priorities, whatever you wanna whatever you wanna achieve. It doesn't guys, it doesn't matter if it's big or small. Just write it out. Yeah, you never know. Just write it could be big or small. So it doesn't matter. Write down your goals, what's your priorities, what's your priorities, and focus on those. And then, you know, read it, put it on your bedside, or if you're putting your phone, you can just look at it and, you know, just do that. <laughs> Excuse me. The next thing is you got to practice gratitude. You always got to be thankful for what you got. Me, I'm thankful for everything. When people tell me, when when some of my family... My, my my mama was uh, my some of my family no, some of my family members said that I don't care about family or whatever. I'm I'm glad I'm I'm grateful for what I've got. I'm grateful for for being able to do what needs to be done. Uh, that's me. I'm I'm grateful for everything. Yeah. If you're not grateful, something wrong with that patient. You gotta be grateful for life, strength, health, wealth. You got thankful for a house to live in, food to eat. All that kind of stuff. You gotta, you gotta practice gratitude. You gotta be grateful for what you got. Anybody who's not grateful, something wrong with y'all, for real. You must supposed to be grateful for what you got. Don't take, pe don't take people for granted. Cause if you take people for granted, yeah, don't take God for granted. You don't take people for granted. Cause they, they help you out and all that kind of stuff. You know. The next one is, you gotta focus on positivity. Focus on positive energy. When you focus on positive energy, it helps you become a better version of yourself. Me, I'm always positive. To, and I'm going to tell you this. Uh, every every time I hear negative stuff, my mom keeps talking to me about, about me, about telling me about, oh, I'm not a business owner, and yada, yada, I can't sing or rap. I don't let that get to me. If I am no, I'm a singer and I'm a business owner, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'm not going to argue with my mom because I ain't got time for it. I ain't got time for it. Because I guess, because I'm going to tell you this, guys. I remember when I went to the doctor some, some I mean, I think it was last, last week or so. 
um, the doctor told me that I've been having stress a lot. Because when, um, yeah, because I think I took my blood pressure, I think. And then, and something like that. And then he asked me, he asked me, um, hey, hey. Excuse me. He or she asked me, um, are you stressed? And I said, oh, that's why. So, what, guys, if you're stressed, make sure to get how to get rid of stress. It's easy to get rid of stress. Just relax. Take it easy. Just put on music. Read a book. Do whatever. Just take it easy. You know what I mean? That's how you get rid of stress. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at my eyes. Ooh, what is it? Ooh. That's where my eyes. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what it is. Just be able to do that. And, oops, whoopsie. Yeah, that was my laptop. So, yeah, focus on positive energy. Because me, I can't focus on negative. Negative, yeah, that's why um, my doctor told me don't be, um, just um, in order to get rid of stress, just put on, put on some music and, yeah. Just shut out the noise and focus on the positive energy. And do some affirmations. Like, I am powerful. I am this. I am is a big word. I am is a big word. The word I am is very, is, is like you are telling yourself, oh, yes, you are powerful. You are flexible. You are caring. You are kind. You are loving. You are sweet. Once you say that, those are affirmations. You, you, you're saying that that's who you are. So, yeah, say something that's positive and not negative. And the last one is to stay connected. You gotta stay connected. Stay connected. You know what I mean? It's good to stay connected. But anyway, so that is how about um, how how to show self care. You can do that. You can stay connected. Just stay connected with your peeps or whoever. And guys, I'm gonna tell you this. You can have. You can take your family and your friends. Anybody tell you to take to to neglect your friends to go be with your family? Uh, something off about that picture. No. Anybody do that, something ain't right with their head. Something ain't right. You can take care of your family and your friends. Anybody who tell you that you need to, oh, because I've been hearing this from my family members oh, um, all the time tell me, oh, why are you with your friends that much? And you're jealous. That's why anybody who say that, they are jealous of you. You can have both. So don't let people tell you that you cannot spend time with your friends. If you, if they tell you that you can't spend time with your friends and they be with the family, uh, no, you can't. It's all about balance. It's all about balance. Um, Tore Roberts says something. He has a book called Balance. You have to balance it out. You have to balance it. It's all about. You can have both. You can have a, your family put your family and your friends, but. Yeah, anybody tell you to do that to, to neglect your friends to be with your family? That ain't right. Same thing, vice versa. Vice versa. The other way around, same thing too. Anybody tell you to be to um to be with your family and not your friends? Yeah, you can have both. Nothing, but make sure the friends that you surround yourself with, make sure they're the one that can are down for you. Make, make sure the one, make sure they are the one that loves you for you and care about your well being. Make sure you choose friends carefully, because when you choose friends carefully, it goes along the way. So that's why you gotta make sure your friends are the one that you care about and they care about you. You know, because um, it takes two to tango. You know what I mean? It takes two to tango. So you got to be, you know what I mean? So anyway, so that's what it is, guys. I just hope you guys, uh, hope this helps you a lot. Hope you guys, hope this um, shed a light on you guys and all that kind of stuff. And it is Friday. It is Friday. And um, and I will be going back on Monday. I'm still in JA. And to be, guys, to, tell you, to be honest with you, I thought we were supposed to go back the Monday that passed. Uh, that's what I thought. Because I know it was Monday, now it's this month, it, the Monday that's coming up. I never knew it was um, uh, this Monday. I thought it was last Monday, like the, the, the Monday that passed. So, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's what I thought. 
then I will leave. I will leave into leaving Jay on Monday, cause um I and the thing is that I'm gonna tell you this, guys. I'm gonna before I end this pop this um this show. Um, I'm gonna tell you this. Um, as we were packing down, because you know um, we're packing down. You know when when you're. You don't take people for granted by telling them to buy things for you when you know something wrong with your your eye or something or you know, whatever, whatever. But you can't meet, and then on top of it, you tell them, "Oh, you need to." And then, um, cause um, guess what? Um, my aunt, my aunt, whoever, my, one of my family member keeps saying, one of my family member keeps saying, "Oh, um, bring down the stuff." Bring down the stuff to buy, giving, giving um the, the money to my mom to buy stuff when um she uh, look at now, I and I'm gonna tell you this, I pack my clothes but I have a little bit of clothes. Yeah, I have a little. Bit of, I would have packed more, but I don't have no more clothes because if I had more clothes, I would have packed more. Now, um, all my clothes is like used up, so I have to go. You know what I mean? So I can't, so now I can't even, you know, hmm. for real, I can't even, because, yeah, for real, no joke, I can't even, yeah, because I always have a little bit of clothes, because to be honest with you, I don't have no more clothes, to be honest with you, because, um, because one of my, my mother, um, Throw out my good clothes in the, in the garbage. I, I don't know if that's for sure. You on Instagram? Yeah, my mom threw my good clothes in the garbage, and now I can't can't find. Yeah, no, no clothes. I'm I'm going with the the, the small clothes that I got. So yeah, and then I got clothes from um from you know people who are nice. Yeah, but anyway, guys, that's all I gotta say. I'm about to go eat something right now because I'm, I'm hungry. My body said. I'm looking, I'm looking at the food right now. I'm going to eat something right now. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to stay. Make sure to keep me posted. And make sure I will. And uh, not only just that. I will keep y'all posted on my social media. I mean, my website is down below. Go ahead and check out my website. Go ahead. And, yeah. Those websites. The record, uh, the record label and the foundation. Yes, guys. It's the record label and foundation. is a little Months, so just let y'all know if y'all wondering it is a record label and a foundation so anyway guys i love you guys stay safe god bless y'all know how to find me everything's gonna be down below everything in the record label everything is in the record label website and yeah peace love you guys stay safe and be blessed and make sure to click that subscribe button so you can get more videos like this where we talk about different topics and so you guys will get to know me and all that kind of stuff. All right, guys, peace out. And, yeah. All right, guys, I'll stop talk to y'all because I have a headache right now. Oh, Jesus, I'm your host, D Fresh King, a.k.a. Angel is a Fire, and I'm signing out.